I'm Ellen Gilbert and I'm age 21. Um, I found out at a very young age, I think, just when I was in a primary school, just leaving primary school, going into secondary school. I had a lot of difficulties with concentration, with, with sort of writing, getting out what I wanted to say and not being able to say it in an articulate way or I would I would know what I wanted to say and then it wouldn't come out in, like in the way you wanted way, to. Yeah, exactly. And it was even with like spelling, I could hardly, I could hardly read as well. And I loved reading, but I found it so hard to read it. I found it really sad. It was really quite an emotional thing. I couldn't do this thing and I didn't understand why. Or I have to read a sentence about over and over again. If it's a difficult text, like still now, I would have to read it over and over again for it actually go in, to go in. And it would take me a long time to decipher words. Sometimes words move around. Yes, I went to a school that had specific um, learning support and it was so helpful. Like. I would be able to go, I'd have a lesson a week and I would have one to one, an hour where we would go over my homework, go over anything that I didn't understand in lessons and I would get the help that I needed to understand this with, or it would, would it be like writing or spelling. It was from a very like young age that I managed to build up and be able to read and tell the time. I think it is so important. If I didn't have the support that I had, I would not be the person I am today. And without that support, I would, I just, I can't believe there are people who wouldn't give the support for it. <laughs> um, yeah, well, there's several. But, um, I would say there was a very big moment in my life where I just thought I was stupid and it really took over me and I just would, it came to a point where I just thought that I couldn't write and I just thought I can't do that because I'm, I'm stupid. And it took me a very long time to realise that I wasn't and actually it's okay to ask for help. I think that's what I struggled with, that I, I hated that I couldn't just do something on my own and I needed someone else to help me. But I've come to realise now that actually that's not there's nothing wrong with that. I can't help it, but that I have dyslexia and it's nothing you should be ashamed of. And ever since I like I've managed to have help. I like, I didn't have I didn't have learning support at university because I thought, oh I'm older, I don't need it. And it really, really didn't help my essays. I just it would just that's when I thought I can't do it. I just can't do that. And it was very, very hard for me. And then when I actually got learning support at uni in second year. It was just the best thing that ever happened. I realised that actually I, I can write and I, I and it was just so, so helpful. And it, it's not, it's okay to like, don't let anyone like tell you that you are stupid because you're not like, you just have a, you just have dyslexia and you need, you need help with certain things. And even with dyslexia, it's a lot of um, artistic people have it and it, you do actually see things in quite a different way compared to someone who isn't dyslexic and I, it, you should see it as a gift because that's why I'm doing art because I see things differently and I'm not I know that I'm not stupid uh, yeah I am and um, I like yeah I would say I am I think it is really I spent most of my second year actually celebrating dyslexia in my art because I wanted people to realize that it's not a bad thing and it should be celebrated. Um, I would say that you shouldn't be afraid to like say anything that you think is stupid because it's the worst thing you do is not ask because then you are stupid for not asking that and the like you shouldn't be afraid to ask for help or feel like you are stupid like dyslexia is is so normal. <laughs> <laughs> <That's true. laughs>